the subterranean Venice, an island on the dark waters of underground rivers. You always hear rough stories circulating about this place. I hear it is all one huge den of thieves. But there is something I know for sure. Pavel reached Venice, and if I'm not late, he's still here. Finding the Dark One is still my main mission. But now I see I must also uncover Corbett's plans so that I can warn the Order about them. Wow. Oh, seems like we made it. Hey, are you asleep there? What do you think of the local fish, huh? Aren't they charming? Mm, seemed moody, though. Looks like somebody went through there before us. You and angered are them. insane. You should never Open go fishing up. for those. The fishermen are back from the seas. Yeah, I see all Ever. Right. And who might that be? I picked the guy up in the tunnel. You don't think I should have left him there, do you? What? And make my life easy? Of course not. First is red, now this. What is this? And I keep raising a lower the gate. You can bring a girl for once. <laughs> And what would you do with one if I brought her, Zemanovich, huh? You're way too old for that stuff. By the way, you better lower the gate, or else a woman might actually come. The one dressed in black and bearing a sight. <laughs> Never fear, Semyonovich is going to outlive you all. Hey, Fidor, how's fishing? Uh, not even a bite, unless you count the shrimps. And they got a few more out of me than I'd like. I was saved by this land, Artya. Nice to meet you, Artyom. Thanks for your uh, so what I didn't really help you much. I feel like you the did all the work. Were all over us as soon as we got to the fork. Almost took my raft apart. Yeah. What the hell gives? Wonder. Oh, that's easy. The Reds passed through here, going to meet our esteemed neighbors. Didn't seem to care what they stirred up. Ah, so that's why. Look, Artyom, I suppose there is no hiding it. Venice is full of gangsters. Julek, the scum of the earth. So don't you start any shit. I don't want any trouble. This place looks really cool, though. Hey, Simon, I want to talk to you. Look, do you know where might our red guests be? In the brothel, of course. Ooh, a brothel? I'm intrigued. Who's that with you? This is Artyom, the scourge of the shrimps. <laughs> you should see him shoot. <laughs> I never met anyone quite as good as him. <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. I did really bad last Would time. Would you help me take out a few bad guys? Simon, I freaking knew it. This is getting old. But almost all of them are gathered at the storage facility. Look, if this isn't the right time, I don't know what is. Between the two of us, we might be able to take them out. I told you countless times already, and I'm going to tell you again. No! I don't need the shit around here. Do you get me? Yeah, I got you. Right. Then I'm going to leave you two. Okay. What was that all about, bro? In this station of criminals. How is it he's in charge? Hey, Simon. You're good with engines, aren't you? Yeah, what's up? I don't know. It was all right yesterday. Now it's all okay. Well, they're just having their own conversation. That means we get to walk around and explore Venice, and it does kind of look like Venice. I mean, except for the fact that it's underground and it's like radiation and torn apart and looks like shit. But you know, I catch the general drift. Can I take this? Is this free? You know what would be cool to have for free? Hey, look, he's cutting up a shrimp, or she's cutting up a shrimp. I still don't think I would want any of that. Anyways, a gas mask would be nice. If you guys got like a free gas mask laying around, that would be just the the bee's knees. Oh, it's a boat. This is amazing. I love this place. Me and the boys went to that freak show. So they had this beast called the Terror of the Night. Little shit, ugly, old, misshapen. You have looked them in the eyes. At night, I still see him shaking. Oh, I wonder if that's the dark one. I wonder if that's the freak show they were talking about. 
You guys sell stuff? Did you want something, young man? Yes, I did. Make your choice. Everything's fresh. I really don't want any food, especially... Hey, those fish don't look half bad. They ain't got like four heads or two... I almost said two eyeballs. <laughs> fish would have two eyeballs, wouldn't they? Alright, well, she's cooking up something delicious. I would like to find... A shoppy shop. Look, he's got drinks. Which way am I supposed to go? That way? Okay. I forgot I even had a compass. Ah, uh, uh, young man, uh, got a few bullets to spare? I'm a bit short for one project. Hmm. You look kind of crack-addled, bro. Me and got convictions, huh? I respect that. No, I was gonna give you one. I just took too long. Damn it! No! Missed out on the opportunity to give him money. You can still help me out? Yes, I can. How about one more? Sure, one more. Thanks again. Cool, I did my good deed for the day. It's just bullets, everything's gonna be fine. Oh, you're gonna play me a song? Cool. No, that's horrible, I hate it. <laughs> I got my money back. <laughs> See? Problem solved. Fish. Oh, what do we have here? Hmm. Probably supposed to go that way, so let's check this way first. I want to explore this wonderful city of Venice. Ooh, a note. Did you take a look around? The subterranean Venice is a strange city. Three stations, half flooded with groundwater. Old timers say there used to be another city by that name. They also say it was the most beautiful city in the world. Who knows what has become of it? I have some business with Let's be frank. Seems like you're stuck here for good. Sunken tunnels everywhere. And if you go to Novokuznetskaya, you're as good as dead, probably. Seems like you're out of options. So, here's the deal. You could just stay here with us. You're young, tough, you can handle things, and we'll find you a job in no time. Especially since most of those newcomers here are just human refuse from Novokuznetskaya. Just think about it. You start working with our fishermen, get a bit acquainted with things, then you might actually like it here. We could even find you a nice girl. Well, I won't pressure you. Go get some rest for now, and try to stay out of trouble. The gangsters seem to be jumping today. That sounds pretty nice. I mean, this sounds like a nice area, but, you know, back in uh, Polis, where I'm from, we've got a giant missile silo bunker. So, yeah. I'm gonna stick with the missile silo bunker. Bro, please, help me out, will you? Okay, man. I wish we had more visitors like you here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Everybody here's a beggar, huh? That's nice. Anybody? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. That was it. Okay. Guess I will continue going this way. Oh, this place looks cool as shit. What up, homie? How's life? You just hanging? Just chilling? This place looks awesome. Ooh, a bar. Now we're talking. <laughs> That's unusual. A new face. Hello. Are you going to stay here for some time? What do you got? Let me guess. Is it vodka? It's probably vodka. Ah, oh, thank you. It looks delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Good stuff, ain't yeah, it? it is. It's pretty Number good. One. Yeah, let me get another one. Right, talk, don't scare the girls. They'll be right 
You're welcome. I want to explore this area though. I'm scared. I don't want to drink too much, and it'll end up like making me pass out or something. Oh God. I feel pretty drunk. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. I really do. Oh, he's eyeballing me all something fierce. Last time I drank three shots, I ended up getting betrayed by my best friend. So, you know, this has to go well. Oh, God. Whoa! Shit! What the hell? <laughs> Woke up with pigs! <sighs> What a night, what a night. Oh man. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. They just moved us back a little. I still get to explore everything. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, the bar's all closed down. I guess it's like the next morning. What the hell do you want here, you asshole? Didn't have enough? Look at what you and your friends did here. Trashed my whole business. Scared away all the patrons. What do I do now? Who's gonna pay? You? I wish these eyes never what? saw you. What? I didn't trash anything. Here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. But you're always welcome. I just gave you a hundred bullets. Man. What the hell happened? I didn't trash anything. I'm not an angry drunk. I'm a funny, nice guy kind of drunk. What the shit happened? Oh, that definitely looks like a place I want to go. I also need to buy some equipment. Buy some guns and stuff. Wait, hold up. I think I'm supposed to go that way. Okay, fair enough. I do have better stuff to do. I need to get back home. Let's go check out the shops. Come get your maggots. Come get your maggots? No, I'm, I'm not interested in maggots, bro. No, thank you. What do you got? You're an ammo guy? Nope. Don't care about ammo. The rules are simple. You take position and kill all the critters. If you make it before the signal, you can collect your winnings. All right. The targets are waiting. Let's try it. Man, I am just spending money left and right in Venice. I bet he's not hitting anything. Oh, that was easy. He actually hit. Ah, anyone can get lucky. Let him hit once more. We're gonna go again? Or was that it? Great. Here's your winning. How about the race? I got some great knives here. How much did you give me? Did you actually pay me? Take position. All right, let's go. See that? He hit again. Hey you! Why are you stopping my back? Looks like you might be in. Oh God, there's more. No way. He's missing the next one. Relax. Take a good aim. This one. Come on. Hey, the clock ain't waiting. No dice for me here. What's the hell? He even hit yeah. The Great! Here's your winning. Oh God, forty 
They showed to pack a bag. Come on in. I take position. That would be pretty baller, though, if I could get this. We just gotta be. We gotta be quick. We gotta be on our toes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Die. It's getting in. Die. Shit. There we go. Reload. That ready. Oh yeah, I feel like a pro. Don't run around. I can do this. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know if I could do another one though. That'd be that'd be pushing it super close. That was something. Here's a special prize for you. The targets usually last till the evening. Well, our barbecue is going to be busy for a while now. Mmm, <laughs> delicious, delicious rats. Well, thanks, man. And my special prize is a teddy bear. I will take it. Thank you so much. You guys are nice. I love Venice. Although, I did get drunk and apparently trashed a place and had to pay $100 to fix a bar. Not a huge fan of that. It's okay. All right. Hush, baby. Hush. What happened? I lost my teddy bear. Hush, baby. Hmm. It's all right. We'll find your teddy bear. Don't cry. I might have one. To walk today. I want it. My teddy bear. Mom, the teddy bear is back. Where have you been? Were the buttons good? Don't leave me again. Oh, thank you so much. I was at a loss. What should you say? This person helped your teddy bear come home, so what should you say? Thank you. Thank you. You're a godsend. Simon brought that teddy bear from the surface. Toys are scarce here, as you know. So he grew really fond of it. Is that it? How about we go home? You guys now? gonna leave now? Can I play here some more? All right, but not for long. We'll go home soon. You know, it really shows that we take the world for granted. Because this kid's just having fun with a teddy bear. And now kids be like wanting cell phones and whoa. Where the hell are you going? Anyways, something, something, something heartwarming and meaningful about taking stuff for granted. That's all I remember. Oh, that sucks. That would be a shitty job, cleaning up all the rats. Alright, I need to uh, get back out of here, check out the rest of Venice. It's kind of nice, going from like action and whatnot to just having like nice little little chill shopping spree collage an rpk a duplet i that rpk looks pretty cool that's a really great gun highly recommend i don't really want to buy anything sorry bro do you guys hey go somewhere else storage is closed why is storage closed? Fine. I didn't want to go to storage anyways. I wanted to go to the brothel. That's what we came here all along for anyways. Well, hello there. <laughs> here, have, have, some, have some money. I didn't take it, did I? Oh, I donated. Okay. I would have felt really bad if I took the money. Also, what has my life come to? I'm sitting here watching an animated stripper on a video game. I think it's uh, time to tip five more. And then move on. Yeah, time to move on. What money? I gave you money. From your local boss, bitch. Sure. <gasps> that was Pavel. We don't have bosses here. Cough it up. Are you crazy? They're friends with Kizli. Are you sure? That was Pavel. Right. I have to serve all his friends for free and still pay him his cut. Sick and tired of his What good is it all? I'd be better off. All right, we had some fun. Now it's time for work. So. First thing, we pay Kisley and you head it to Comrade Corbett. Tell him the virus container has been successfully delivered to Oktyabrskaya, okay? Hey, pretty boy. Let's Why go. are you just standing up? Shh. Listen, Hooker. 
Oh. I need you to be quiet right now. You basically signed their death warrant. Can't wait to touch me, can you, Daragoy? Well, if you want it that bad. What kind of dance would you like? Sorry. Um, okay. Tell me, don't Kids, be shy. cover your eyes. I'm quite imaginative. Doing this for the YouTubes. Comfy, sweetie. Oh god, she's topless. <laughs> what dance? Just leaning back and forth. So, uh, let me know down in the comments below, how do you guys feel about strip clubs in real life? I mean, I'm not into the whole animated ones, but... Can I, can I, can I, can I leave now? This is cool and all, but... This is a video game. Alright, we have to finish the dance. Just enjoy. So how do you like the dance, Daragoy? I see you liked it pretty much. Yep, I'm gonna stand up now. Thanks for the dance, homie. If you decide to come back, I'm always around. Good to know. Venice. I've been told that subterranean Venice is a city of thieves and murderers, but I found regular people here. They've arranged their lives as best they could. They've achieved a fragile peace and are really afraid that the chaos ranging outside might envelop them. They just want to live and go to strip clubs and enjoy life. I don't blame them one bit. I don't know how I feel about strip clubs in real life, to be honest. Like, uh, I'd go like for a bachelor party for my friends and whatnot, but I think it's kind of weird to just like go by yourself or with one friend. Like, I don't know, why do you want to pay to just be... Where am I going? I thought I was going the correct way. Okay. Why would you want to pay to just be, like, teased the entire time? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... It's not like the girls are actually going to have sex with you afterwards, so... I don't know. I just... I never understood that. Whatever. To each their own. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Uh oh. Hmm. So this must be the storage warehouse place where he wanted us to kill these people. That guy at the very beginning of Venice, he was like, hey, welcome to Venice, kill some people for me. Well, I'm not gonna kill him, I'm just gonna knock him out. How's that sound? Sound alright with you? Oh, 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 there's two of them. I don't like the fact that there's two of them right there. Hard to knock you both out. Guess I'm just gonna have to sneak around you two of you get to live. Safety in numbers. Bastards. You see that guy in the helmet? He gave us a case last time he was here, and Keithley sent it off to Octyoroskaya. Said he was full of flyers for the working people. Flyers, my ass. That case at the lock. So, what was in there? I wish I knew. You gonna walk away? Don't look at me. I see you staring straight at me. I got throwing knives if I need them. Who are all these people with crosses on their back too? Is this like some kind of gang or what? I don't I don't fully understand what this is. I thought maybe at first it was Nazis, but I don't think they are. They're just people who have crosses. I also wonder, you think if the world like fell apart, this is getting into some kind of like if you haven't seen Book of Eli, you need to watch Book of Eli. If the world just fell apart, you think these people would wear these crosses and like not even not even know that they were like for religious reasons? Back in the day, they're just wearing them because they think they look cool and they're matching. There's so many people. <laughs> 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 
Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I'm just gonna sneak around them all. Whoa! Look at the pictures. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Oh, I get it. The people in the warehouse are like growing illegal drugs. Good old fashioned drug mushrooms. I should be able to eat some before I leave. Like, Artem should be just be like, nom 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 nom, and then keep continuing on his mission. Ooh, ooh, I see you, flashlight guy. Where are you going? When are we going to start tasting it? I can't wait no more. You'll have to. It's just started condensing. Oh my god, there's so many people. It won't bite. I'm attaching the filter now. Hell with that, I need a drink. Oh man. Who almost saw me? I looked like I was in the dark there, but apparently I wasn't. We need to move through this area like super fast. Oh, and that time I wasn't in the dark. Of course, that makes sense. Are we supposed to get past this guy at the door? Oh, he... Who keeps almost seeing me? Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me! Oh god! We gotta get to that door. It looks safe, it looks safe, the coast looks clear. Drop your weapon, oh shit. 